just pretty laid back. Yeah, it's not, pretty laid not back. Not uptight yeah. all the time. Yeah, and if we're pressured, we, we try not to show it because that'll that'll reverberate to other to uh, to to other guests, and they may you know tension. We don't want the tension to build anywhere else other than from within ourselves. So you know, I think most RVers want to be good citizens when they're in an RV park. So, oh, most definitely. So while we're talking here, get, let, let's. You know, give me some advice for them when they come to an RV park. What you know, we know we got the ten o'clock thing about turning yeah, we that got off. The ten o'clock thing, just, but um, just basically, you know, have a good time. There's one of the shareholders who I know very well. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just uh, pretty much, just you know, uh, try to have a good time. Um, be friendly to your neighbors, and respect their space as well as, and they they will respect yours as well. Um, have a good time and, uh, and and what's your biggest what's your biggest concern what is what what do you you know in the day when you go our, uh, no uh, our, uh, during the days our biggest concern during the days a lot of people tend to forget about the five mile an hour speed limit here through the park and all right we're really trying to stay up on that yeah but it, it can be difficult sometimes but we you got a lot of kids with a lot, a lot of bikes kids with a lot of bikes running around yeah. here so the people have to be extremely careful when they're driving through the park. We have a lot of big rigs coming through here as well. So yeah. people just have to just watch what they're doing and watch where they're going. And parents need to make sure they watch their kids. Are you an RVer yourself? No, I'm not. No, what do you I'm think not. of the RV lifestyle? Was it something you, you've you been around before you uh, started no. working here? No, not really, no. No, I just I haven't been around it at all, basically. I mean, I've known a few people that have a couple of trailers. and but I think they're nice. I mean, some of them are just absolutely gorgeous. And you walk inside, it's like... Yeah walking into a home they're really nice but yeah. if you if you're out someplace can you i mean is there a a typical rver i mean how would you describe the typical rver um typical rver is dedicated to their rv they're dedicated yeah. to keeping it nice dedicated to keeping it protected keeping it clean um even if it does get a little dirty like some of their atvs that just means they're out there having fun and they're they're out here to have a good time and so, and so, basically, would you say RVers are friendly people? Yes. More than yeah. an average person out on the street. I, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot of uh, a lot of gumption to drive one of these big forty foot uh, motorhomes around. Yeah. You know, you just have to really be careful. Watch what you're doing. But yeah, the majority of them are extremely friendly. Very nice people there. They're almost friendly to a fault because a lot of them love to feed us. They love to feed security for some Oh, they do, huh? They think we're really hungry. They think we're starving, I think. So. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't we... look like it's hurting you too No, bad. no. <laughs> so if we go up and talk to them, yeah, come on back and have a sandwich and have a, have ribs and have this, that, and the other. And, oh, oh, that's thank great. Thank very much. Yeah, yeah, they, they feed us. So <laughs> That's really that's, great. That's really nice, yeah. So uh, uh, Pismo Coast Village is a very special uh, place, too. Yeah, it's, it is. It's a little different than the average RV. It is a little different from the average, yeah. It's a little bigger than... A lot of the RV parks that are around here, we have a lot more amenities, and we're really not that much more expensive to the other to the other parks in the area. We're pretty comparable, right? You know, for all the amenities that we have. So you think you're going to be doing this a while? You having are you enjoying your I, job? Yeah, I think I'm going to be here for quite a while. My yeah, I think I might be poised to take over security, but who knows? At some at some point. At some right? point, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, it sure is a wonderful park, and we're really happy yeah. to be here and. And you know, I think one of the uh, one of the concerns that people have, and, and probably we should have started by talking about this, but mm-hmm. you do want to, you know, in the minute at three o'clock in the morning, you want to feel like you're okay, yeah. that outsiders aren't coming in or right. anything like that. And that mm-hmm. that's you guys are taking care of. That's that. we, yeah, security is taking care care of that as well, and and that does happen upon occasion. We have some outside elements that do try to get into the park, and they really have to understand that this is private property, and they if they're not a guest, they. They right. really can't be here, and we, poli- we politely escort them off uh, property. Right. Duty calls. Security, go ahead. Where are you at? I'm over here on the south side, right next to 207. I see you. Stand by. 10-4. Duty calls, people. Okay, well, great, John. And we really appreciate you giving us a ride through in oh. this. Doesn't look like we have any real trouble this morning. Nope, Everything's not a pretty problem. cool and Everything quiet. It's pretty kosher. Yeah, people are all behaving themselves. Everybody's very friendly, very happy. Sun's and- out. And people can, uh, you know, I think the the main thing we want to get over here is that that uh, people can feel real secure about being here at Bismarck. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. We're doing the best job we can here. Thanks, John. Thank you.